We call the culture that flourishes in these organizations values-centered leadership. And that's the message that I want to bring. I started writing this first in a book called The Way of the Tiger, which is a fable about a white tiger who teaches the whole idea of value-centered leadership to a chipmunk. And this chipmunk learns by going to visit with various animals. And I use animals in my books quite a bit to uh, tell stories and uh, to explain in the way of a fable, you see. Uh, I think there's a very strong message amongst animals. Let me give you an example. How, how many of you are dog owners? A lot of dog owners. You ever notice whenever there's a knock at the door, your dog is always there first? Yeah? And it's never for him. The eternal optimist, you know. One day there'll be a knock at the door. Oh, it's for you, Fido. You know? <laughs> this is my dog, Spirit. Now, Spirit is a, a wonderful hound. When Spirit was young, I would try to teach her how to come and sit and heal and all those things. And I would get very frustrated because she wouldn't do it. And so then I'd holler at her, and then she'd run away. And I learned over a period of time that she would not do anything for me if I was to intimidate her or make her af afraid. In fact, the realization that came to me was, the more I show her that I love her, the more she will try to please me. Now, this is very basic stuff, but you know what? We've learned this with dogs, but we haven't yet learned it with people. We think that we can intimidate people and drive them with fear, when the reality is they won't perform any better for you than dogs will. We need to learn that love is what inspires greatness in people.